You know that moment where you learn about a new feature in a program and it's kind of awesome because it's going to save you a ton of time, but it's also kind of soul crushing because why did I not know about this like years ago? Like I've been doing this manually the whole time. I don't want you to have that experience with podcasting. In this video, whether you're brand new or you've been podcasting for years, I'm going to show you tips that will help you streamline your podcasting process. We're going to start with the basics, then we'll jump into things that are a bit more advanced that you'll probably use in about a month. And then these advanced features that will help you with podcasting for years. All right, let's start at the beginning. The first thing you've got to do is set up your podcast. In Buzzsprout, just go to podcast settings and we'll walk you step by step through setting up your entire account. You can put in your title, description, categories, and click save. In the future, if you ever want to rebrand or change anything, just change it here and we will update Apple, Spotify, and all of your podcast directories. Next, we're going to upload our episode. With Buzzsprout, you don't have to worry about file types, bit rates, or ID3 tags. Just upload your audio file and Buzzsprout will optimize your episodes automatically. You can add custom artwork, rich show notes, and even schedule your podcast for the future. Next up are podcast directories. Directory is how most people find new shows, so it's the number one thing you want to do to get your podcast out to the world. Buzzsprout makes it super easy for you to get your podcast into Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and many, many more. This is a simple process you'll go through just one time. After everything's connected, new updates and episodes will go out to all the directories and listings automatically. Now that we've got a few episodes live and probably a few listeners, we're gonna track everything in Buzzsprout's advanced podcast statistics. This is where you'll be able to track your progress over time. You can jump in and see things like total downloads over time, what apps people are using to listen to your podcast, and even where people are listening from around the world. You can even track to see if your latest episode is trending up or down from your historical average. Every podcast needs its own podcast website. This is the one page you'll share where people can learn more about your show, but they can also find your show in the podcast app they're already using to listen to other podcasts. And at Buzzsprout, we make that website super easy. You can actually customize the header image, the colors, and even put it on your own URL so that you have a unique website for your unique podcast. Since 2009, Buzzsprout has helped over 300,000 people launch their podcasts. And we've built this next feature set to help you be as successful as possible. With Buzzsprout, you have access to hundreds of tutorials, guides, and videos answering every question you'll have about podcasting. A lot of them are actually on this YouTube channel, so if you're new, consider subscribing. If you'd rather read, jump over to the Buzzsprout blog where we go in depth on topics like remote podcast recording and advanced marketing strategies. Next up is the Buzzsprout Facebook group. Podcasting can get a little bit lonely, especially if you're the only person that you know that's into podcasting. That's why we started this private Facebook group of over 20,000 podcasters. Drop in to bounce an idea off a few other podcasters or just to ask if anybody else is thinking about going to a podcast conference. Check out the link in the description in case you're interested in joining. No matter what, you're probably going to run into an issue at some point, and that's where Buzzsprout support team steps in. Maybe Apple Podcasts rejects your show, or you've got a couple of questions about rebranding an existing podcast. Well, then you can reach out to Buzzsprout's support team, and it's full of podcasting experts who are there to help you succeed with your show. And we're so confident that you'll love Buzzsprout's support that we actually share all our ratings and response times on our public webpage. Podcasting is full of tons of exciting milestones, like the moment where you release your first episode or where you finally hit 100 podcast listens. We're actually going to celebrate these achievements by sending you these badges and these awards. And these are things you can share on social media to help celebrate with your podcast listeners, but also set your podcast up to grow well into the future. Let's wrap up with a few features that really set Buzzsprout apart. The first is the visual soundbite. Visual soundbites are the best way to share your podcast on social media. Studies have actually shown they get seven times as many clicks as a static image, and they're completely customizable. You can either set just unique colors, or you can use our Canva integration to create a unique template 
for your podcast. Next up is magic mastering. Have you ever finished an episode and realized something was wrong? Like one of the speakers, their mic was set a little too loud, or maybe there's a background noise throughout the whole episode. Or it could just be that your voice doesn't sound as rich or as full as you were hoping. That's where magic mastering steps in. It's a completely automated solution that improves the audio quality of your entire podcast episode. It'll fix all those mistakes and it'll make your podcast episode sound like it was edited by a pro. Podcast transcripts are becoming so much more important. They've always been important for people who are hearing impaired, but they're also the backbone of how Google finds podcast episodes and surfaces them in search results. With Buzzsprout, every time you create or upload a transcript, we make sure it gets out to everybody. We put it on your podcast website, but we also make it available for all the apps that are starting to incorporate transcripts into their podcast players. Let's wrap up with dynamic content. Dynamic content is an advanced feature that helps you keep all of your back catalog up to date. Let's say you wanna upload a new ad or a special promotion, or you just wanna experiment with a new call to action, like, hey, leave me a review in Apple Podcasts. Well, with dynamic content, you upload a short audio clip, and then you're able to add that to the beginning or end of every one of your episodes. And if you're using a call to action or you need a special promo code in the description, Dynamic Descriptions will allow you to drop that link into every one of your podcast show notes. So now people can hear you talk about this special promo and then click the link to learn more. I hope you learned something new that you can do inside your Buzzsprout account. There are tons of other features we didn't even have time for, like chapter markers and setting up multiple podcasts or giving access to other team members. And there's always new things we're launching. You can actually go check out buzzsprout.com slash new to see every time we release an improvement to Buzzsprout that you have access to. And if you wanna learn more about the dynamic content feature, check out this video where Travis goes through six different ways to keep your podcast up to date with dynamic content. As always, thanks for watching and keep podcasting.